Hello folks and welcome back to my Pokemon Sword Flylock Challenge. I am Robert Ortega. If you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button for more daily content. Drop a like on this video as well and drop a comment below because it does help with the algorithm. In the last video we took on Eternatus. Why? Because Chairman Rose went, went mad really and released him and wanted to do the darkest day again but we got help from Zakin and Zamazenta and Hop helped us as well. And now after all that we finally get to go and take on Leon, the champion of the Galar region. And since you were last with me, um, I was going to be the right thing. We did a little bit of training. Got everyone up 64-65. Snips is now up to 71. Not much that I can do about that at this point. Um, no real change to to the move stats or anything really. Um, Avlio we've given him Flare Blitz instead of Flame Charge for Glimmer training. Flame Charge just wasn't doing the business, I'm afraid. Um, it was really, really poor. So we ended up going with Flare Blitz and we're just gonna, we're gonna take a chance on it. Um, about it really. Other than that it's been not too exciting just in the wild area training up they're all level 60 in there now so it's great and I think we have our adoring fans. Oh look at them all. Ah uh, sure would you be well. Well enough fanfaring let's get on with this. Oh there's more of them up here. Let's do this. It's a nice looking stadium as well. In here as well. Did I get a Pokeball actually? I don't think I did. I think I forgot about this. And Dream Ball. Makes it easier to catch them while they're asleep. Fair enough. Thanks for all your help. Yes, I am ready to go and beat him. I can't believe um, we got 30 videos out of this. It's mad, really. Because I've, I've all of these recorded weeks in advance. Um, <laughs> I actually had this finished recording before the first video actually came out. I'll tell you how much in advance. Um, how much I've recorded. I haven't actually been paying attention to what Liam is doing. But now you're the one who's called Eternatus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zanazenta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong the champion truly is. Come on, Robert, let's make this a final match that will go down in Galar's history. No, a match that will change Galar forever. We're going to have an absolutely champion time. Let's do this. Nice. I like this. I like this. Really triumphant sort of music as well. Challenged by Champion Leon. Oh, there goes the head. As I suspected, an age slash. Um, we're not going for dark move, we are going for fire. And uh, right, let's hit this flare blitz and see how we get on. Too much recoil, and I give him the shell bell as well, so we can at least reach, um, get back some of it. Shadow ball. How much damage is that gonna do? Christ. Um, this is the only one that we need talent flame for. So is he gonna? He's gonna use a full restore. I don't think I actually 
stocked up on items, which might actually be my downfall here. Oh, high roll, yes. Yes, get in. Um, he held on as well. Level 24, 25 hit points. Snip's got to level 72. Crazy. Right, Peria is in next. Um, so we are going to have to change into man time, who unfortunately is going to take some damage when he switches in. Are they level 64, is it, I think? Come on, let's see. Stone Edge. Oh, Christ. Oh, no. <laughs> that is not what we want. That is man time down to one life. And... Um, That is the strategy a little bit all over the place, to be honest. We will have to go to a flying press and see how we get on. Not well. Not well at all. Crikey, we're in trouble. We are in trouble here. Um, I mean, we're just gonna we're gonna have to just go for flying press. There's nothing else, nothing else there. Man time was should have given him a quick shot, to be honest. Um, we got lucky with that flinch. We're gonna flinch him again for great. No, Stone Edge. Oh no, that is Halucha. Well and truly out for the count. Um, I guess Snips is, is where we go to next. Let's go for an Aura Sphere. Good enough to take it out. Oh my god. That's really, uh. <laughs> Love how we've been over leveled so much. And then for this one, we're just about there. Um, let's see how we get on. That's Dazzling Green, this thing. I know it's got Poison Jab and Iron Tail, so that need is going one. And thankfully it does, but Snips, I think, being so high level, is always gonna make life a little bit easier. Now, hopefully, he can do the same thing for this fast. Oh no, it is Thunderbolt. Oh, he, he took that really well. But he's paralyzed. Oh no. Take that down in one, though. Oh my god. Gorilla Boom. What do we have to take down this thing? Air Slash, I guess. We might get a crit as well. Endeavor. Good. Chris. We didn't get a crit though. Even though I've given him the whatever item in previous chances of critical hits. And Smith's loss up to level 74. He's not finished. Oh, but he's down to one Pokemon, I think. Which makes life very easy. Um, Max Rockfall is going to be four times effective on this Charizard. And that is what we are pinning hopes on right now, because after that, I don't know who in the team would have the ability to take a, a dead down to Max Charizard, to be honest. Uh, 
He has speeds as well, so it means whatever he comes with. Come on, up there. We're crossing everything for it to go right here now. There's going to be a lot of luck involved in this. It's using Max Rockfall as well. Oh, Christ. We can tank it though. We have. Here's a sandstorm coming. Now, question is can Charizard tank Charizard tank it? He can't! And we've won! <laughs> oh, thank God. Um that was a scary start. That was a scary start. I've lost Etchold and Rascal, and have lost them Rascal altogether. That was scary. Um, but Snips just come in and swept him, really. I guess Snips is our trademark Pokemon. But Leon is beaten. My time as champion is over. But what a champion time it's been. Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. We've got money for winning. Oh, thank God we did it. I presume something else is going to happen here. There we go. Ah, he's trembling, the poor thing. There's all the confetti for us. There's ah, uh, there's mother, mum. Congratulations, Robert. You've beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You become a first-rate trainer, all right. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. There's me up on the big screen. I don't actually look like that. Let's see. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking ahead myself. It's time we adults started working on improving the here and now, for the sake of all that's to come. And you, Robert, what you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep on blasting in order to create the bright future we all hope to see. Where's the gym leaders? Surely they all need to be there. People of Gala, here you have it. A new legend born right before your eyes. Your champion, Robert. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of a future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. The fireworks, the atmosphere, it's just so good. And that's it. I think we have to consider this Flylock a success. Um... I mean, we did what we set out to do. We won the gym challenge. We've become champion. We did it with a team of flying type Pokemon. We've only had two deaths. Um, we didn't think by any standard is good. Now, obviously, we had the three lives and stuff. And I mean, Snips never lost a life at all. It was never actually beaten, which is why it probably needs to be the trademark of this series. Um, yeah, I, mean, I quite like it. But I think showed that it was doable. I mean, I remember when I was spinning the wheel, and I was way back now, and we got flying type. I was very excited because I'd never used flying type before, and I thought this is going to be a really good challenge. And it was. It was a challenge to try and find a team that was balanced. And to have made it as far as the Champions Cup without losing somebody, I think I was very pleased with. And um, I didn't know how this was going to go. I really didn't. Uh, that's a lovely green and green there as well. I'm, I'm so impressed with the graphics here, and that's the special effects graphic design, movie graphic design, UI graphic design. It's such a big team in, in Pokemon that worked on this. Um, I think I just have to say, I think it's a stunning game. I know people say it's a bit easy, and it probably is easy. Um, but I have to say, from, from my perspective, I find it a very enjoyable game. I like the 3D, I like the animations. I like 
I like that you don't have to spend hours grinding just to get your team up a few levels. Because um, you want to enjoy it, and I, I, did, I don't enjoy grinding. I enjoy playing stories, battling against trainers, battling as gym leaders. And uh, this is the first monotype challenge that I've successfully done anyways. Or certainly seen it through to the end, and I really enjoyed it. And I think the next, the next series I'm going to do now is going to be another monotype. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do next. Um, I certainly will be doing something next. I'm sure it could be a few days or probably a few weeks before you get to see it. Who knows? Though who knows? Um, not going to be Sword or Shield again. That's for sure. Um, which obviously is going to make it a little bit difficult now for the recording and stuff because I have the capture card for the Switch don't have one for the 3DS or don't have the setup for it so I may have to use an emulator or something um, which I don't really like using but at least I own all the Pokemon games so I, it's, at least I don't quickly mind it that way then because at least you know all I'm using them for is to be able to record the content and um, hopefully you enjoyed this series as much as I have. Hopefully it might have inspired you to do a similar one. Um, I'm sure I could go through this Flylock challenge again and have a completely different team. You know, uh, have a completely different team. I think Snips there probably just smashes, smashes it out of the park. The versatility, the just general special attack. Butterfree, here from the start, who would have guessed it? You know, I've always wanted to use a Butterfree throughout, and I think he's really, really good. A model guy he'd used before in, in Pokemon White. Talonflame I've used before. Um, Mantine I've never used. Halucha I've used before. Gyarados I'd never used before. And I really enjoyed using them until, of course, it, it got knocked out. And uh, then all the other ones that we had, you know, throughout as well. Um, I suppose this isn't, I suppose this is the end of the main story in the series, not necessarily the, the series itself. We are going to have a video where we go and try and catch all of the Pokemon, all of the flying type Pokemon in the Galar region. And um, we're going to do the Crown Thunder as well, but that's going to be interesting. But as for the main series, in terms of following the storyline, we are, like it says on the screen now, we are at the end. And so I think it's good to leave it there. Uh, if you have enjoyed this series and any of this video, drop a big like on this below. Subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And drop a comment below because it does actually help with the algorithm. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.